Hello everyone. We are here to talk about our the enhancements made to the board view as part of 15.8. So starting 15.8, users have now the option to click on the uh, the tile card name to access that specific object instance while in the board view itself. Why is this important? As our and users were using the board view to prioritize or categorize their data. Uh, they were having usability problem that they had to go into the grid view and then from the grid view access the specific uh, object instance to uh, to have additional data view or edit. <clears throat> However, starting 15.8, now the end users can do the categorization or prioritization within the board view and be able to click on the uh, the card uh, title name and access the details from right there. So starting 15.8, you will see that the card title is now going to be clickable. You can click on the card title name and access the details itself. The This functionality is only for the board view that's in projects, ideas, and custom investment types. Roadmaps uh, are not clickable to access the object data, but by double clicking on the roadmap item, you will get to see the, um, the, the details for that specific roadmap item. Any value uh, that you set as the card title will automatically become clickable. So it does not have to be the name of the uh, that object instance, but any value that you pick as the card title will become actionable. If you pick a card value or the card title where the value is blank, then that blank space is also clickable and we will see that in the demo. After opening the object instance, you have the option on top to click on the back button within the object instance and that will bring you back to the board view where you clicked on to get into the details. If you pick a card title that's too long, such as a description, then we will show you the, the value with ellipsis in the middle to indicate that the card value is too long and uh, uh, you can see the start and the finish of uh, the, that card value. With that, I am now going to show the demonstration of uh, this functionality in the product itself. I'm here in 15.8. I am in the project list view and I'm gonna change to going into the project board view. Within the project board view by default, as you can see that the card titles are now clickable. I can hover over it and each one of those is a clickable link. I can click on any one of those. That opens up the that specific project itself, the landing page. And once I'm done reviewing or editing, I can use the back button. So you have the option to just click on the back and it'll take you back to the pro, uh, project board view itself. I have the option to go into my view and change the card title to any other string field. In this case, just for demonstration, I'm going to pick a card field, uh, card title that is uh, much longer to display. You can see now that the description for my project is clickable. And I can see that there is an ellipsis in the middle and hovering over that card title displays the full value. You can click on that, still takes me to the project. I can click on the back button to go back out. And if there is a description field that is, um, or the card title field that is empty, I can still click on that empty space right on top and it takes me to that project. I can then click back and go back out. And I can then change this back to something more reasonable. Now I see the correct values. This functionality applies in ideas. If I go to the idea board view and you can see each one of these is clickable, I can click on the idea name and click back. The same applies for my investments and click on any one of my and go inside and then come back out. If I go into my roadmap, the board view in the roadmap will not open uh, that specific uh, investment. But in this case, if I double click on my board view roadmap item, it opens it up right here in the flyout to where I can see the details for that roadmap item. And if it is linked, I can see that. Right. That concludes my demo in regards to the board view enhancements in 15.8.